Hi and welcome. In this video we're going to be learning how to add keywords to images in Adobe Bridge. Now keywords are a type of metadata that you add to the images um, to help you to try and find them as your image library grows. Now you can add just one or you can add loads of keywords to help you find that specific image. Now some images may suggest their own keyword. Um, like say if you've gone on a holiday to Paris, um, then Paris might want to figure quite highly in your hierarchy of keywords. Other keywords might be suggested by the images themselves, so that if you've took an image of, of a uh, while you were in Paris and it had a bike in it, then you may want bike to be a secondary keyword that would help you locate that image of a bike in a picture in Paris. Okay, so let's get on with it. Let's find out how do we make and how do we attach keywords to your images to help you find them. So where on the bridge interface can we actually add keywords? Well, the first place I'm going to show you is in the metadata panel. Now metadata obviously there is none because we haven't got an image active. So what I'll do is I'll just click on an image and in the IPTC core section of the metadata panel, you'll see that we have a keyword because keywords are metadata. So I can click in there and I can type in this was taken in Crete. And then down at the bottom, there's a little apply and cancel. I'm going to click apply. So now my keyword Crete has been added to that one image. If I click on the image next to it, and uh, no, there isn't any keywords. The only keyword I've added is to that one image, and that is Crete. Now, if I wanted to add another keyword, then I can basically just then click in that box, put a comma, and then type Chanya, which is where the harbour is. And then again, click to accept. And so now if we go, I've got, again, no keywords and two keywords. So this is all right just for adding a couple of ad hoc keywords. If you just want to go in, add a couple of keywords and get back out again. OK, the next place is the keywords panel itself. So I'm just going to click on that keywords panel there. And it does have some presets. You can see that we've got events and then birthday, graduation, wedding and people and places. And we've got some other keywords. And you'll see these other keywords are Chanya and Crete. Um, we'll, we'll get rid of fishermen because we don't need that. OK, so we've got these other keywords of Chanya and Crete, and these are the ones we made earlier. Now you can see that there is a hierarchy here. You can just use a major keyword, or you can have a hierarchy. So here we can see that events is a top level keyword. But then birthday is in, indented a little bit, as is graduation and wedding. So these are related to the events keyword. Uh, and people Again, people is the, the major keyword, the top level keyword. And we've got Matthew and Ryan as names of people. Well, that makes sense. And then we've got a major category of places. And here we've got sub keywords of New York, Paris, San Francisco, San Jose and Tokyo. OK, so we can see how we can go. And it's very useful to be able to have a hierarchy of keywords rather than just a load of, of major keywords. Now, the two keywords we made earlier of Chanya and Crete, um, they're down at the bottom here, like I say, under this other keywords category. So they're not top level keywords. Uh, and you can see that they're actually indented. So they're a part of the other keywords category. Now, I'd like to change that. I'd like to convert the Crete and Chanya into major keywords. So all I've got to do is I'll do the first with Crete. If I click and drag that one down and then let go, it appears back at the top. But this time it's not indented. It's now a major keyword. 
and then Chanya, I can click and drag that down and now we've got Chanya and Crete as two keywords. Just turn them off. Now Chanya is really a sub keyword of Crete because Chanya is in Crete and Chanya is where we took these pictures. They're in the country of Crete or on the island of Crete, um, but they were in the town of Chanya. So Chanya would be better off as a sub keyword of Crete. So I'm going to click on Chanya and I'm going to click and drag that down and drop it over Crete. And now you'll see that it looks as though it's disappeared, but it hasn't. If we click this little disclosure arrow here, we can see now that Crete has one sub keyword and that keyword is Chanya. Now we can add new keywords and new sub keywords by clicking on either of the two icons at the bottom right of the keywords panel. Now let's say I want the keyword fisherman to be in the Crete category. I've first got to select Crete. So that's where they, that's my major category or my, my major keyword. And then I'm going to go down and here it says new sub keyword. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to type in fisherman. And then I'm going to hit return. Now each of the, the major and the subcategories are alphabetical. So obviously Crete becomes before events and fisherman comes after Chanya. Now so far we've been discussing creating keywords. Now let's turn our attention to actually applying them to the images. Now the important thing here is for you to be accurate in making a selection of which images you want to add the keywords to. So now all the images in this folder were taken in Crete and Chanya. So both keywords need applying to all the images in the folder. Okay, so let's select them all. I'm going to press Ctrl and A for select all or Command and A if you're on a Mac. And then I'm going to click in both the Crete and the Chanya boxes. And now both of those keywords will have been added to every single one of those images. So if I deselect them and then click on this one, you'll see in the assigned keywords at the top, we've got Chanya and Crete. And this one up here, we've got Chanya and Crete. So those anywhere where there's a tick, when you click on an image, those keywords are present, are embedded in that image. Now I'd like to keyword all the images that have a fisherman in them. So let's start by selecting all the images that have a fisherman in them. And uh, by looking at this, I think there's only one. This guy's here fishing off the, his little bench. So I'll click on that. And you can see that it's obviously Crete and Chanya. Those two keywords are, are still on it. But this time I want my fisherman to be in. So I'm going to click on fisherman. And so now that you can see it's come up there, I've got the keywords assigned to this is going to be Chanya, Crete and fisherman. Now next we've got some mountains. Okay, so let's create another keyword. So I'm going to deselect everything and I'm going to collect another sub keyword under Crete and uh, to put in with Chanya and fisherman. So I'll click on Crete and then we'll click on new sub keyword. And on this one we'll type mountains. Okay, so that appears now alphabetically down at the bottom. So let's again click on the images where there's mountains in. So let's say that one. And I think there's definitely a mountain in that one. So I'm going to control and click on that one. And then there's a mountain in that one. So I'll control and click in that one. So now I've got three images selected that already have Crete and Chanu as keywords. But now I want to click to put mountains in there. And you'll see now assign keyword Chanya, Crete and mountains. But there's no fisherman because I can't see a fisherman in there. Now what about deleting keywords? Well if you want to delete a keyword then you've first got to click on it. So let's go down to set places and then we'll go down, no we'll see Tokyo. So we've, we've actually highlighted Tokyo now and if I right click I can delete that keyword. 
and it will come up and say do you want to yes I do and it's gone and I can get rid of San Jose I can delete that one and say yes get rid of that one for me well that's it for creating and adding keywords to images I hope you can now see how easy it is to make keyword categories and keywords which will make it a lot easier to find your images in the future as your image library will grow so please don't overlook keywords as your image library grows they will be great for searching and finding your images quickly okay that's it for now i'll see you in the very next video bye for now